Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read S3 3107. Thank you, Emilia Bedelia. Story by Peggy Parrish. <clears throat> the summary of the story is this. Preparing for the arrival of an important visitor, a wacky housekeeper follows her employer's instructions with humorous results. Mrs. Rogers was all in a theater. Great Aunt Myra is coming today. Now, that is nice, said Amelia Bedelia. I do love company. We've been trying for years to get her to visit, said Mrs. Roger. But Great Aunt Myra says the only place she feels at home is at home. So everything must be exactly right. We do want her to be happy here. Now don't you worry your head, said Amelia Bedalia. I'll fix everything. What should I do first? Well, the guest room must be re made ready. Strip the sheets off the bed. Remake it with the new rosebud sheets, said Mrs. Rogers. Thank goodness you are here. Amelia Bedelia went to the guest room. These folks do have odd ways. Imagine stripping sheets after you use them. Amelia Bedelia shook her head, but she stripped those sheets. Amelia Bedelia had just finished when the doorbell rang. That must be the laundryman with Mr. Rogers' shirt called Mrs. Rogers, please check them and make sure they are all here. Amelia Bedelia hurried to the door and took the package. Amelia Bedelia opened the packages. She unfolded each shirt. Two sleeves, one color, one pocket and six buttons. Yes, they are all here. There's not a thing missing said Amelia Bedelia. Now to check them, it would be a sight easier to buy them already checked. Said Amelia Bedelia, but she quickly checked each shirt. Oh my goodness, Mrs. Rogers came downstairs in a rush. Amelia Bedelia, my broad pink dress has spots in it. Please remove them with this spot remover. Leave the dress out. I will wear it tonight. Now I must go to the market. Amelia Bedilla looked at the bright pink dress. I don't see any spot. This dress just needs washing. Then another dress caught Amelia Bedilla's eyes. She must she must have meant her light pink dress. Now that one now that one sure is spotted. Amelia Bedilla held the dress up. It looks mighty nice with the spots in it. But I guess she's tired of it that way. Amelia Bedelia, oops. Amelia Bedelia put spot remover on each spot. Then she waited. Nothing happened. Didn't think that stuff would work, said Amelia Bedelia. She got the scissors and Amelia Bedelia removed every spot from that dress. Amelia Bedelia called Mrs. Rogers, please take these groceries. Amelia Bedelia ran to take the bag. Here are some roses too. Do scatter them around the living room. I must get my hair done now. While I'm gone, wash all these vegetables and string the beans. If you have time, make a jelly roll. Great Aunt Myra does love jelly roll, said Mrs. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia stopped in the living room. Seems like roses would look, would look nicer. Sitting proper like in vases, but if she wants them scattered, oh, scattered they will be. Amelia Bedelia went onto the kitchen with the groceries. She walked all the vegetables, washed it all the vegetable, Then she found a bowl of string. And Amelia Bedelia strung all those beans. Jelly roll. 
exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. I never heard her tell of jelly rolling, but Amelia Bedelia got out a jar of jelly and Amelia Bedelia tried again and again. She just could not get the jelly to roll. Amelia Bedelia washed her hands. She got out a mixing bowl. Amelia Bedelia began to mix a little, bit, little of this and a pinch of that. <coughs> great Aunt Myra, or oh, no great Aunt Myra, there's not going to be any rolling jelly in this house tonight, said Amelia Bedelia. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers arrived home in, at the same time. Mrs. Rogers called, Amelia Bedelia, please separate three eggs and pair the other vegetables you washed. I'll do the cooking. Then she and Mr. Rogers hurried upstairs to dress. <clears throat> Amelia Bedelia took out three eggs. I wonder why they need to be separated. They've been together all day and nothing happened. But Amelia Bedelia separated those eggs. Pair the vegetable. Amelia Bedelia left. Here you two go together. And you too, now be careful, or I'll be separating you too. Amelia Bedelia went up to Mrs. Rogers' room. What should I do with these stripped sheets? She asked. Stripped sheet? exclaimed Mrs. Rogers, but she got no further. Mr. Rogers roared. What in thunderation happened to my shirts? Oh, don't you like big checks? I didn't have time to do little ones, but I will next time, promised Amelia Bedelia. My dress, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. It's full of holes. Yes, ma'am, I removed every single spot. Said Amelia Bedelia before Mrs. Rogers could say any more, the doorbell rang. Great Aunt Myra, said Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. They rushed to the front door. Good evening, grandniece. Good evening, grandnephew. My, that tree made me hungry, said Great Aunt Myra. <clears throat> I'll cook dinner right now, said Mrs. Rogers. Everybody went into the kitchen. Amelia Bedelia, did you string the bin? Asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, yeah, see, they do give such a homey look, homey look, said Amelia Bedelia. Where are the eggs? I asked you to separate, said Mrs. Rogers. Here's one. One is behind the clock and the other is over there. Did I separate them far enough apart? Oh, Mrs. Rogers said nothing. So Emilia Bedelia went on and I paired the vegetables. They went together real well and there weren't any left over. Mrs. Rogers slapped her hand on the table. It hit right in a sticky block. Oh, what's that? She shouted. Jelly, I tried to make it roll. But I, it just plip plopped all over the place, said Amelia Bedelia, exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. How do you get things so mixed up? Things mixed up? Oh, I plumb forgot, said Amelia Bedelia. She hurried to the stove. Amelia Bedelia opened the open door, Great Aunt Myra sat up straight and sniffed. Hot apple pie, I do declare. Now that's the kind of mixed up thing I like. Great Aunt Myra announced. Grandniece, grandnephew, I like it here. Oh, Great Aunt Myra, we are so glad, said Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. They both began to talk at once, but Great Aunt Myra wasn't much for words. She had her eyes on that last piece of pie. Great Aunt Myra put the last piece of pie on her plate, and she said, Grandniece, grandnephew, I will beat you often. That Amelia Bedelia really knows how to make a body feel at home. Thank you, Emilia Bedelia. Emilia Bedelia smiled as she and Great and Myra would get along. The end.